Hi, it's me, Teacher Isa, and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, kindly hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so whenever I upload videos, you'll get notified. Welcome to our virtual classroom, my dear students. In our class, we respect each other, we do our best, and we support one another as we learn together. In this lesson, you will learn about the characteristics of electromagnetic waves. You will also find here their physical wave features, such as frequency and wavelength. Moreover, this lesson enables you to gain more information on how the different types of electromagnetic waves are arranged according to its wavelength and frequency. In the previous lesson, you have learned about the electromagnetic wave theory and its significant proponents who made its development possible. Now that you have acquired a deeper understanding on what electromagnetic waves are, you might be wondering how sunlight is different from x-rays if both are electromagnetic waves that travel at the same speed. The electromagnetic spectrum is a continuum of electromagnetic waves that were arranged according to frequency and wavelength. It is a gradual progression from the waves of lowest frequencies to the waves of highest frequencies. An electromagnetic wave is arranged according to its wavelength and frequency. The term frequency describes how many waves per second a wavelength produces. On the other hand, the wavelength measures the length of an individual wave in meters. According to increasing frequency, the electromagnetic spectrum includes the following. We have the radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, x-rays, and gamma rays. Take note. These waves do not have exact dividing region. The different types of electromagnetic waves are defined by the amount of energy carried by or possessed by the photons. So when we say photons, these are the bundles of wave energy. From among the EM waves or electromagnetic waves, gamma rays carry photons of high energies while radio waves own photons with the lowest energies. With regard to the wavelength properties, radio waves can be likened to the size of a football field while gamma rays are as small as the nuclei of an atom. Gamma rays, X-rays, and high ultraviolet are classified as ionizing radiation as their photons have enough energy to ionized atoms. It caused chemical reactions. The waves in the various regions of the electromagnetic spectrum share similar properties but differ in wavelength, frequency, energy, and method of production. Electromagnetic waves, like all types of waves, are described by their physical wave features, such as amplitude, wavelength, and frequency. These are the characteristics that can vary and thereby produce many different kinds of electromagnetic waves. The first one here is the crest. Crest is a point on a wave is the maximum value of upward displacement within a cycle. A trough is the opposite of a crest, so the minimum or lowest point in a cycle. Next is frequency. This is the number of waves that pass by per second. In the Hertz measurement, it is abbreviated HZ. This is also the number of cycles or vibrations undergone during one unit of time by a body in periodic motion. Wavelength can be defined as the distance between two successive crests or troughs of a wave. It is measured in the direction of the wave. 
This means the longer the wavelength, the lower the frequency. In the same manner, the shorter the wavelength, the higher will be the frequency. The last one is amplitude. In physics, the maximum displacement or distance moved by a point on a vibrating body or wave measure from its equilibrium position. It is equal to one half the length of the vibration path. Or in other words, this is the height of the wave. The electromagnetic waves are often arranged in the order of wavelength and frequency in what is known as the electromagnetic spectrum. Because all EM waves travel at the same speed, if the frequency of a wave changes, then the wavelength must change as well. Waves with the longest wavelengths have the lowest frequencies, while the waves with their shortest wavelengths have the highest frequencies. So the amount of energy carried by an electromagnetic wave increases with its frequency. According to increasing frequency, the electromagnetic spectrum displays the following waves. We have the radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, X-rays, and gamma rays. It is important to note that these waves do not have an exact dividing region. As you go from left to right, the wavelength gets smaller, and the frequencies get higher. This is an inverse relationship between wave size and frequency. As one goes up, the other goes down, and this is because the speed of all EM waves is the speed of light and that is 3 times 10 raised to 8 meter per second or 300 million meter per second. All electromagnetic waves can travel through a medium but unlike other types of waves, they can also travel in a vacuum or empty space. They travel in a vacuum at the speed of 3 times 10 raised to 8 meter per second and denoted as C or the speed of light. The wave speed, frequency, and wavelength are related as shown in the following equation. We have the speed of the wave or abbreviated as V or C. It is expressed in meters per second. And we have the frequency, it is expressed in hertz or hz. And the wavelength or lambda is expressed in meters. Again, wavelength is the distance between corresponding points of two consecutive waves. Wavelength is usually denoted by the Greek letter lambda. It is equal to the speed of a wave train in a medium divided by its frequency. So we have the formula of wavelength is equal to V or speed of the wave divided by frequency. Here is the sample problem. Assume that the waves propagate in a vacuum. The question is, what is the frequency of radio waves with a wavelength of 20 meter? First, write the given. V or C is equal to 3 times 10 raised to 8 meter per second or 300 million. And this is constant, okay? Wavelength is 20 meter or 2.0 times 10 raised to 1 meter. And the unknown is frequency. The formula that we have is V or speed of the wave is equal to frequency multiplied by lambda or wavelength. But we have to derive the formula because the unknown is frequency. So the formula would be frequency is equal 
to the speed of the wave divided by the wavelength. In our solution, we have 3 times 10 raised to 8 meter per second over 2.0 times 10 raised to 1 meter. So let's do the cancellation of units and that is meter. And our unit would be 1 per second or hertz. So the final answer would be 1.5 times 10 raised to 7 hertz. So let us discuss the regions of the electromagnetic spectrum. Radio and TV waves have the longest wavelengths and the lowest frequencies in the electromagnetic spectrum. They can be produced by making electricity oscillate in an aerial or antenna and are used to transmit sound and picture. Radio waves do more than just bringing music to your radio. They also carry signals for your televisions or cellular phones. The antennae on your television set receive the signal in the form of electromagnetic waves and that is broadcasted from the television station. It is displayed on your television screen. Microwaves Microwaves are radio waves of very short wavelength. They are used in satellite communications because they can penetrate the ionosphere. This is a layer of the Earth's atmosphere in which there is a high concentration of charged particles. Microwaves have a range of applications including communications, radar, and perhaps best known by most people, cooking. Electromagnetic radiation is transmitted in waves or particles at different wavelengths and frequencies. This broad range of wavelengths is known as the electromagnetic spectrum. Infrared waves are waves that lie in the region beyond the red end of visible spectrum. The wavelength of infrared waves is too long to be visible to the naked eye. Infrared radiation is most noticeable when given off by hot objects, especially when objects are red hot. This is invisible to the eye but it can be detected as a sensation of warmth on the skin. Next is visible waves. Typically, the human eye can detect wavelengths from 380 to 700 nanometers. These visible waves are what we know as light waves. Visible lights makes up only a small portion of the entire electromagnetic spectrum. When white light passes through a prism, it is separated into its constituent colors. We have the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Violet has the shortest wavelength and the red has the longest. There are no sharp boundaries separating the various colors. Instead, there is a continuous blending from one color to the next. Visible light is defined as the wavelengths that are visible to most human eyes. This broad range of wavelengths is known as the electromagnetic spectrum. So, what are the examples of visible waves? The sun is a natural source for visible light waves, and our eyes see the reflection of the sunlight of the objects around us. The color of an object that we see is the color of light reflected. All other colors are absorbed. Light bulbs are another source of visible light waves. Ultraviolet waves are invisible radiation that lie beyond the violet end of the visible spectrum. Ultraviolet light 
has a shorter wavelength than violet light and carry more energy. The sun is our main source of ultraviolet light. Ultraviolet is a form of electromagnetic radiation with wavelength from 10 to 400 nanometer, shorter than that of visible light, but longer than X-rays. UV radiation is present in sunlight and constitutes about 10% of the total electromagnetic radiation output from the sun. X-rays, having a short wavelength and high frequencies, and are very penetrating. They are produced by the rapid acceleration of electrons in X-ray machines that collide with atoms, and these atoms emit X-rays. X-rays with long wavelengths that can penetrate through flesh but not bone are used in X-ray photography to help doctors look inside the body. X-rays with shorter wavelengths that can penetrate through metal are used in industry to inspect welded joints or faults. Take note, they are shorter in wavelength than UV rays and longer than gamma rays. Gamma rays are high energy waves produced from nuclear reactions. They have shorter wavelengths than X-rays because energy changes within the nucleus are normally much larger than those that take place outside it. They are more dangerous than X-rays because radioactive substances emit them. A gamma ray or gamma radiation is a penetrating form of electromagnetic radiation arising from the radioactive decay of atomic nuclei. It consists of the shortest wavelength electromagnetic waves and so imparts the highest photon energy. Let us have a short summary. A wave is a disturbance that transfers energy. James Clerk Maxwell formulated the electromagnetic wave theory which says that an oscillating electric current should be capable of radiating energy in the form of electromagnetic waves. Heinrich Hertz discovered the Hertzian which is now known as radio waves. Hertz is the unit used to measure the frequency of the waves. An electromagnetic wave comprises of an electric field and a magnetic field at right angles to each other and to the direction of motion of the wave. Electromagnetic waves can travel through a vacuum because they do not require matter to exist. Electromagnetic waves are produced by a charge that is changing direction or speed. All electromagnetic waves travel at the same speed in a vacuum and that is 3 times 10 raised to 8 meter per second. The electromagnetic waves are often arranged in the order of wavelength and frequency in what is known as the electromagnetic spectrum. Frequency describes how many waves per second a wavelength produces. Wavelength measures the length of individual wave in meters. Waves with longest wavelengths have the lowest frequencies. And the last one, waves with the shortest wavelengths have the highest frequencies. And that would be all. Thank you! Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel.